Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Why Not The Creator, and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. And in today's video, I got a solo, easy, fast money glitch for you guys, where you're duplicating cars like every two to five minutes. Now, there's a little setup that you have to um, do um, beforehand, but like once you got that all set up, you can just rinse and repeat and uh, just keep doing this unlimited, you know? So um, the requirements that you're going to need for this glitch is you're going to have to have a arcade. And in the arcade, you're going to have to have the uh, garage down below, you know, in the basement. So if we go downstairs real quick. All right. So down in your arcade garage, all you want to do is have some free LG RH8s. Now, there's 10 spots down here. So, if you know, you can fill it up with 10 free LG RH8s and just keep uh, rinsing and repeating. After you get one done, you just repeat the process and you can do it over and over again you know so it's really great um the other thing you're going to want to do is either go into story mode or you can go into creator but you're going to have to go over to your settings and you see how like i have it on free aim you want to have your targeting mode on free aim so um so have your targeting mode on free aim uh make sure that you have an arcade with a with the uh, free LG RH8s parked down in the basement garage. And then you're also going to want to have an MOC with the Bay Area 3 as your personal storage um, for your vehicle. And then you just want to have the vehicle that you want to duplicate in that um, Bay Area 3. So usually um, I use the Future Shock Izzy. It sells for the most. It sells for like almost 1.8 million uh, each time. So, yeah, you just want to have those uh, couple requirements. If you have all of those, then you're ready to go. Um, once you have your, your targeting mode set to free aim, then you just want to come into an invite-only session. You see, like I am right here. Uh, and you can set your, um, your spawn location to your arcade so that you just spawn in over here. But, I mean, it's not necessary. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's go outside and we'll get this glitch started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is smash that like button for me, please. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm on my way to 1,000 subscribers. We're like so close to 800, guys. I know we can we can reach 1,000 by the summer. I know of that. So just hit that subscribe button for me. Smash the notification bell and uh, hit the like button if this glitch comes to help you out. But anyways, we're going to get started right now. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to open up your interaction menu and you're going to go to services and request your MOC. You coming over later tonight, honey? I've got a cute little teddy and a can of whipped cream with your name on it. Okay, see, so the MOC spawned behind the arcade. All you want to do is just go get into it. And we're going to drive it around to the front. Alright. Now we're going to want to position this in a way so that the, the blue circle is facing next to the garage blue circle. So you just gotta like kind of make your way back up a little bit, a little bit. Now this guy's gonna want to fight. Get the fuck up, idiot. So okay, you see what I'm talking about here? You see how the the blue circle is right next to the garage blue circle? This is what exactly what you want it to look like. From here, you just want to go into your MOC. And see, I have the Future Shock Izzy in here. You just want to get in that and drive it outside. All right. And then we're going to just want to park it right here. So you see where this red line is? You just want to park it like right about there. Yeah, it should be good right there. Like that. Now you're just going to want to 
take a car off the street, and you can't just take anyone because uh, some cars uh, don't work. So you just want to make sure that you get like, you know, like this car. We can use this one. So once you steal the car, all you want to do is back it up into the spot like that. And you see it'll say the arcade garage is full and it'll automatically just put the car into the MOC. So just let it um, do that. It'll do it automatically. You don't have to do anything. Just back it up into the spot and it'll say the garage is full. So once you got the car in, the, in your MOC, all you want to do is just exit the car and then exit the MOC. All right, the next thing you want to do is go over to your vehicle, and as you can see, it's not on the map. You see there's no icon for the your vehicle, and that's exactly what you want to see. So if you got that, all you want to do from here is go into your arcade. All right, and then we're going to get glitched out. So what we're going to want to do is go up to the jukebox. And I'll show you the next steps. So let's just head over there. So you just want to walk up to the jukebox so that you see, like, the little um, thing in the left-hand corner, top uh, left-hand corner. You see it says press right on the D-pad to enter the jukebox. You just want to see that. What From here, what you want to do is hit start. Go to online. Go down to cruise. Go to leaderboard and choose IGN crew and view members. And then you just want to join any one of these members. So see, I'm going to join this first guy. So you're going to join his game. You're going to accept the first alert, decline the second. All right, so we accept the first alert, decline the second. Now we're gonna hit start again. We're gonna go to online. We're gonna go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to missions, go to a titan of a job. And see, as soon as I hit X, I'm gonna hit right on the D-pad and wait about three seconds. And it's gonna tell me that like, I can't start the job up. So I'm just gonna hit X again. And then I'm gonna go back into online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created uh and start up a titan uh, you know go to the mission and start up a titan of a job again and you want to kind of do it fast so that you know so that it'll work so if you guys are ready here i'm going to start it up hit right on the d-pad i'm going to count one two three i'm going to hit x i'm going to hit start again go to online you want to do this part fast too play jobs rockstar created go to missions and start up a titan of a job now, if it doesn't let you start it up, then you're going to have to do the whole part over again. But um, it should start you up into the Titan of a job. As long as it's showing you like that and you did it pretty fast, you should be good. From here, all you want to do is just quit. Hit X to confirm. And you see how you have like the the radio um, genres like glitched out on the top left. So that's exactly what you want to see from here. You're going to want to head over to your basement again, your arcade basement, head over to the free LG RH8. I'm just taking my time. No rush. You know what I mean? But this glitch is really awesome, guys. It's really fast. You can make tons of money off of it. Like I said, about you can probably make about $1.7, $1.8 million every two to five minutes, just depending on like, if you hit the glitch uh, correctly or not. So what you want to do is uh, go to the passenger side of the free LG RH8. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit triangle to get in the car as soon as you sit down you're going to hit circle to back out of the menu and then you're going to start spamming the gas button so you're going to keep hitting rt you know or r2 
uh, whatever console you're on, you know, depends. But you want to you want to span the gas button. So if you guys are ready, we're go we're gonna hit triangle to get in the car. We'll hit circle to back out of the to of uh, the the little menu right here, and then we'll spam uh, the gas button or the R2 button. So if you guys are ready, here we go. See it? And you'll kind of like disappear and stuff like that. That's exactly what you want to see. Just keep spamming until you get a black screen. And then you can stop spamming. Now what it should do is it should spawn you outside without the car. You should be on foot. So if you spawn outside with the car, you're going to have to start all over from the first... Um, the first spot, the first, uh, the beginning of the glitch. But if you spawned outside like this on your feet, hey, that's exactly what you want to see from here. Just go get into the, the Izzy over here and then open up your interaction menu. And you're going to have to go down to services again and request the MOC one more time because it disappears when you go inside. So it, if your uh, if your arcade's over by my location, see you usually it'll either spawn in behind your arcade or over by the Eclipse Tower. If you have the 8-bit um, arcade, and then from here, all you want to do is just drive this Izzy to the back of the uh, the back of your MOC. Hit right on the D-pad, it'll say that it's full. You just want to say OK and hit X to accept that. And there you guys go. You see, you successfully duped a car and it was that fast and that easy. Now, all you want to do to repeat is just exit the trailer. And like I said, this is, you know, you can rinse and repeat. This is fast. It's very easy. You know what I mean? You guys should have no problems with this. But if you do, hit me up in the comments, you know. I'd be glad to help you out, like always. So what you're going to want to do to rinse and repeat is just drive your MOC back over into the spot. So you want to kind of put it, like I said, you want to have the back of your MOC line up with the uh, your garage. You see like that so that the the two circles are, are appearing right there, then just get out of your MOC, go into the back of it and drive your Izzy out. Right there. So you can rinse and repeat all you want in here. It's very fast, it's very easy. Once you got your arcade full with uh you know the Future Shock Izzy's just Move them to another garage and fill this one back up with uh, free LG RH8s, and you guys should have no problem. You can make tons of money. I mean, it's like 1.7, 1.8 almost um, every two to five minutes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please smash that like button for me. Um, also, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers, and I couldn't do it without each and every one of you. So thank you very much. And I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.